Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yo, what's the deal, y'all? It's the Kid Berg, aka the dude that does this, and you're now rocking with the AM Daily Sneaker Review Show. Before I get started, please, if you don't mind, please hit the like button, please turn on your bell notifications, and of course, please subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the vibes. With that being said, new episode back on your head top. These pair of sneakers right here, man, needs no introduction. These came out 90 when they originally dropped. Retroed in 06, and they retroed again in 2013. I have the 2013 pair. I'm going to try and see if I could get my hands on the 06 pair, a good wearable pair. So, with that being said, I don't want to hold up too much of your time. Much love to my brother Webb. Thank you very much on the hat. Rich Young, coming out soon. <sighs> Man, I think I've worn these once or twice. These right here are the Grape Fives. Amazing pair of sneakers. I mean, do I need to even say anything about this? I've worn these literally two or three times. I think twice more, maybe twice or three, I don't know. Let's get into it though, guys. Let's get into this review and um, we'll be right back. All right, these released, when was that? That was May 4th, 2013. I remember how crazy the line was that I was on. Um, I, obviously, I skipped the line. I, I know the right people, but I still had to wait. Maybe, I mean, the release that it came out like around six in the morning, six six thirty. So it took me. I had to get. I remember I had to get a pair from my ex at the time, and ooh, to get her pair was crazy. But I ended up getting the pair for her, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, definitely my pair didn't take long, but the pair to get for her in particular took quite a while. And luckily I was able to get that pair for her. So with that being said, let's get into it, man. So right away, as you see, you have the, the um, purple and um, emerald blue midsole. Outsole is... You know, it's supposed to be icy, but obviously it aged. And you have the Jordan the Jordan logo, Jumpman logo in in emerald blue. And it says Jordan's a little dirty again. I did wear these at least once or twice. Uh, of course, right here, tumbled leather all going all around the shoe. Tumbled leather going all around the shoe. Netting going up the shoe. And the tongue is purple and emerald blue. Emerald blue on the back of the tongue. Also, the Jumpman logo on the back of the shoe as well. This is your right side of the shoe. Fire pair of sneakers. Let's go into the left side of the shoe. So let me just move this guy out the way. Fire pair of sneakers, in my opinion, in my personal opinion. Again, you have the you have the purple and emerald blue midsole and you have the um, air bubble here of course you have the black as well outsole again jordan jordan and white obviously this is supposed to be icy but it aged wear your sneakers no matter what you can't stop the age i shouldn't i should have got some sole protectors but it's all good as you see you have the emerald blue jump man back of the shoe emerald blue jump man tumbled leather going all around the shoe you have the netting on the side right here and on the netting going up the tongue you have the lace lock in black white and black and of course clear actually a black clear i should say it's clear and it has the jumpman logo right here and of course you have the purple tongue with the emerald blue jumpman and the back of the shoe of course back of the tongue i should says air jordan man my opinion this is a colorway that's that's really sought after. A lot of people love this colorway. Again, I've only wore these once, twice at the most. Obviously, they look completely new. If I cleaned the house so I could sell these as brand new. So, definitely a fire pair of sneakers. Please, guys, let me know what you guys think about them. Are they fire? Are they trash? Would you stock them? Would you rock them? 
Me personally, you know where I stand already. These are just fire. All right, y'all. That was your review of the Grape Fives. Some people call them the the, the Will Smith Jordans because you know he wore them in the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It's actually a pair of sneak, a pair of uh, fives that came out. What was that? Two years ago without the laces. Fire pair of sneakers. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Fire, trash, stock them, rock them. Definitely top 10 Jordans ever made, hands down. Let me know what you guys think. With that being said, please follow the AM Daily Instagram page. I'll write, I'll put it on the bottom of the, of the, hold on one second. What you said? Oh my God. Yo, so I just got breaking news. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you serious? So I literally got breaking news that just, oh my God. All right. So I just got word that Young Dolph, one of my favorite artists, man. I listened to him in the gym. I mean, yeah, he passed away. He um, got killed, unfortunately. So um, I guess we could just end the show here. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. What, that's, what, what horrible news, man. Oh man, so um, moment of silence, obviously, for Young Dolph. Rest in peace. Um, I, damn, man, what fuck? Damn, this news is fucked up, man. God damn, for real? Yeah, you gotta hand me my phone. <laughs> Yo, this is, you serious? All right. So, I mean, that's my time. I, Jesus Christ, that, that, that news just threw me off. So, we're, we're pretty much done. I'll see you guys next time. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Keep God first. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't. Because as long as you wake up in the morning, God shows you that you can. You will achieve greatness. That is my time, man. Rest in peace, man. Young Dolph, man. Life is so short, man. They say 2021 was supposed to be better than 2020. I'm seeing a lot of death, man. A lot of death. A lot of my guys is passing away left and right. Krug, I love you, brother. Rest in peace, man. I love you with all my heart, brother. Rest in peace. I'm going. Blessings.